welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to video two in the hair color series. If you missed the first video, I'll put a playlist up here, but basically in this series, we're just going through everything you need to know on how to correctly color your hair by yourself, on yourself, in your bathroom, right? And more importantly, we're going through why you're doing it that way. So be sure to subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss an episode. I'm posting a new one of these in this series every single week. On Sundays, today, we are going over hair color levels and the level system. If you're joining me from cosmetology school, welcome! I am not responsible for any failed tests, but I am responsible for any past tests. 100s. We're on page 672. So when we're talking about hair color, levels or those little numbers that you see on the boxes of the hair color when you're at the supply store at Sally's where it's that crazy wall of six, 10, four, five. What is that? That is representing the level. Levels measure the lightness and darkness. Levels are numbers. The letters beside it is representing the tone. So for example, six V means this is a level six hair color with a violet undertone, tone or hue whatever you want to call it. So basically it's saying it's a medium blondish brown right in the middle hair color with a little bit of violet. Every company is different. For example, some companies have like a level 12, but for this and moving forward in this series, we're just going to be doing one through 10. So again, level is the lightness and darkness of the hair, not the tone. One through 10, and I'll put a level system chart that you can screenshot up here. One is the darkest dark, which is black. 10 is the blightest blonde, pretty much pale yellow, almost white. So black moving up to blonde. When you're formulating or trying to figure out how you're going to get a certain hair color, which we'll do a whole separate video on formulating in the future, you need to understand the levels and the level system in order to not mess up. You're gonna be looking for three things on yourself or on your client in order to get this correct formula. The first thing is the NL, see that? Which means your natural level. This is your roots, ladies. What color is the hair that I'm born with? If you're in a salon setting, you're going to take the N series, the natural series out of your swatch book, and you're gonna go on the apex, the highest point of the head, pull out some hair and go through and find the natural level or the root level of your client. If you're at home, just refer to that screenshot that I showed you, you don't need this. So we're gonna go through and find the natural level of my roots. Again, how light or dark is it? Think about if you were to flip this into black and white, what is the number matching my root? So my roots are probably, I mean, I can't really see, but it's probably a four or a five, right? If you're really unsure, always pick the darker one. So I'm gonna go with a level four. And again, lightness or darkness. When I'm looking at this in a black and white film or photo, what would be the matching number to the hair? Taking tonality or color out of it. So we're just gonna go with the number four. And it works best to write this stuff down. I still do, mainly because I'm dyslexic and the memory is just not there anymore. Natural level, woo, you're going silly on me. Natural level is a four. That's what I'm born with, what my roots are, level four. Now your EL, which, People refer to it as a bunch of different things. I call it the EL. The existing level is what have I done to my hair? Or what have I colored? Which is this blonde. This is a level 10. It could be a nine, but we're gonna give it a 10. Level 10, brightest blonde. Again, how light or dark is it? Not, oh, it's 10, but yellow. We don't care about that right now. Cause I know it's yellow. So my EL is a level 10. Woo. Level 10. Now my target level or my TL is where do I want to be? Now this is gonna be different for everyone because it depends on what service or what you're trying to achieve at home. But for me, if we weren't doing hair resets, I would go in or do on myself a root retouch and I would want this, this level four, to match this level 10. So my target level or desired level is a level 10. I want my roots to match this part. So you would write, oh, there goes the cap. You would write 10. So to refresh, natural level is my roots. My roots, what I'm born with, level four. Existing level, what I've done to it or someone has done to it, level 10. Target level, my desired level, what I want to achieve today is to have a root retouch matching the rest of my hair. I want these to be a level 10. So that's the very first step into determining any kind of hair color is figuring out 
where you are, what you've done, and where you want to be. You've got to do those three things in order to correctly formulate. Then you can start adding in tones, desired tones, hues, colors, rainbows, all that stuff. This is going to make the hair color wall at Sally's or the supply store a little bit less frightening because now you'll understand kind of what this means. The number in the front is the level. So if I want to dye my hair black, I'm looking for level one hair color. So I'm gonna take a look at all the level ones. There's a bunch of them. Then the letter is gonna help me determine the tone. One of my favorite colors, especially the Paul Mitchell series, is 1A, A meaning ash. Ash is really blue. It's a blue black. It's really beautiful. It's black, but in the sunlight, it's blue black. It's very, very pretty. And then if you could add some drops of violet, oh, very good, 10 out of 10. Remember your target level and only take a look at what's available in your target level. That's going to help a lot in understanding how to do the rest of this formulating developers and all that jazz. So if you have any questions, comments, make sure you leave them below. And if you're joining me for the hair reset, don't forget to let me know below so we can be boring together. So anyway, thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. Slip and slide.